Hey guys, YouTube World Hunters here. And now, like, with Marvel having, like, some future Spider-Man films in the works, and with DC also, like, having at least a future Batman movie in the works, there is at least one upcoming Batman film for the DC Extended Universe, I decided that I would just make a video to just talk about something that I would actually like to see done with these films, like something that I'd like to see with these new Spider-Man films for the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and with, if there are any like future Batman films for the DC Extended Universe, there is at least like one coming up, there's THE Batman, and yeah, and yeah, of course like with the M Marvel Cinematic Universe, there's of course like the Spider-Man Homecoming movies. What I would, so yeah, what I would like to see done in these movies is... I'd actually like to see some new villains in these movies that we really haven't seen before in any previous Spider-Man or Batman films. Because if you've watched like all the Spider-Man films and Batman films that have been made, you may notice that throughout the films, like whenever they like start like a reboot series or something, they do kind of like use villains that they have already used before in previous film series. Especially like with Batman, like, with Batman they just have been like using like some of the same villains over and over again for the different film series. And even with the Spider-Man films, uh, they did kind of like, yeah, there's like one villain that they like did continue to use throughout the films. Um, so yeah. What I would like to see done with both of these sets of films is I would actually like to see Marvel and DC actually use some new villains that haven't been seen before in any previous Spider-Man or Batman films. So, yeah. I know, of course, like, Spider-Man Homecoming is, of course, coming just next month. And so, yeah. And that film, they, of course, have got, like, Vulture as villain and yeah shocker is also like said as a villain in that movie too so yeah that's a good thing that they are having like new villains that we didn't see before because yeah vulture has never been a villain before in a spider-man film and neither has shocker so i'm glad that they are going down that route and using some new villains in that film and yeah yeah but yeah they're they also have like a spider-man homecoming 2 coming out in 2019 and yeah, I would actually like to see them use like new villains for that film too because yeah, there are like just a bunch of villains that they could use um, that they haven't used before because yeah, so far in the Spider-Man films they've had like of course the Green Goblin which is the one that they have used constantly throughout all the films that have been made so far. Out of the five Spider-Man films that have been made so far, the Green Goblin is in three of the films, so... Yeah, I definitely do not want to see the Green Goblin as a villain in any future Spider-Man films again. I think we've had enough of the Green Goblin. Yeah, they've also had, like, Doc Ock, of course, in Spider-Man 2. They had, like, the Sandman and Venom in Spider-Man 3. Alright, but, yeah, with Venom, yeah, I'll talk about Venom a little bit later on with this, yeah. And then when they rebooted the films... They, of course, like, had Lizard Man in the first film. And then they had, like, Electro and Green Goblin again in the second one. So, yeah, for any future Spider-Man films, like I said, I'd like to see villains that we really have, that we haven't seen before in Spider-Man films. Like, there are, like, a few different Spider-Man villains that I would like to see in these future films. Like, I would like to possibly see Scorpion in a as a villain in a future Spider-Man film, along with, I'd like to see possibly Kraven in the, in the future Spider-Man films as the villain. And yeah, and I think, well, like, a really good one that they could actually use would be the Chameleon. I mean, yeah, the Chameleon would really be a good choice for a villain in a future Spider-Man film, because, I mean, the Chameleon, of course, like, he's was like a really clever one. The chameleon, I remember, like, he would, like, disguise himself as other people to make, like, people think that he was, like, another person committing a crime. I remember, like, he once, like, 
well, yeah, he did, like, this guy's is, like, some other, like, people, like, the Spider-Man Fear of Arkham was close to. I think he even had some points he even did, like, he was disguised as Peter Parker at other points. So, yeah, I think the Chameleon would be a really good choice for a villain in any future Spider-Man films. And, of course, like, an another one that I would really like to see is I would really like to see Carnage as a villain in a Spider-Man film. But, of course, in order to do that they would have to, like, reintroduce Venom. Venom, because, yeah, as just about all of you know, Carnage, of course, was, like, an offspring of Venom. So, yeah, if they would ever use Carnage, they would, of course, have to reintroduce Venom before they could do that. So, yeah. Well, I guess, like, with Venom, like, I guess I would be, I would be okay, like, if they would use, like, Venom him again as a villain for this because and especially like I think a lot of people would like to see it considering how they had Venom used in Spider-Man 3 I mean there was just so little of Venom in Spider-Man 3 I think a lot of people would really kind of like to see this Venom tried again in the Spider-Man film this time like could be done right and then yeah eventually like they could have then like Carnage be introduced and it would be cool if they would actually like, get to see like maybe a fight between Carnage and Venom and Spider-Man maybe would even join in I mean that would be pretty cool to see I mean I remember they had like a fight in like the old Spider-Man animated series but in that series like Carnage he really did look bad I mean yeah I mean Venom looked cool I mean Venom was like really big and everything but the way Carnage looked, oh man, I mean, just oof, oof. Carnage looked pretty bad in the animated series. Like he, they just made him look like really, really skinny and just, oh, Carnage was looked terrible in the animated series. So yeah, I would actually like to see like Carnage actually look the way he should. And yeah, I would real, I would be interested in seeing Carnage as a villain in a future Spider-Man film. That would be pretty cool to see. But yeah, there are like a bunch of other villains they could also use. Also, like they have like Silvermane, Kangaroo. Ooh, they have Crime Master, Mysterio, Living Brain, Tinkerer. Yeah, I mean they're just like a whole bunch of villains they have to choose from for any villains that they want to have in future Spider-Man films. So yeah, there's the ten. No, oh, yeah, they definitely do have a huge selection to choose from. Um, so, yeah, I would just really love to see, like, villains like that. Just, as I said, villains that we really have never seen before to be in any of these future Spider-Man films that Marvel may have in the future. I mean, they do have at least one sequel for Spider-Man Homecoming. I mean, so, yeah, I don't know if they'll have any others, or even if they will have, like, a villain, like, an enemy of Spider-Man appear in, like, any of other, like, Marvel team-up movies, like the event the next Avengers movie, or if they do have, like, any other team-ups in the future that really aren't Avengers movies, like how Captain America Civil War was, yeah, I would, if they would have any of that, if they had, a, like, a Spider-Man villain be one of the villains in that, yeah, that'd be cool to see, just, yeah, I just really would love to see a new villain, and also with Batman movies, yeah, like I said, they, DC does have at least one Batman movie, listed for the DC Extended Universe. This one's called The Batman. And, and, yeah, I don't think there's, like, any set release date for this film yet. I, this film is, like, still, like, in development. I don't think that DC has actually confirmed, confirmed when this movie will actually be released. And, yeah, there, there were, like, yeah, there's been, like, a tease going around that the villain for this movie may be Deathstroke, which would be a good choice because, yeah, Deathstroke, he hasn't been a villain yet in any previous Batman movies. I mean, you know, this, like I said earlier, the Batman movies is, are really the ones that historically really have just used, like, the same villains in, over and over again in, like, in, in various film series, like, like, in, like, the Tim Burton Schumacher movies, and they had, like, the Joker, of course, was the villain in the first movie. In Batman Returns, they had Penguin and Catwoman. In Batman Forever, they had Two-Face and the Riddler. 
And then in Batman and Robin, they had Mr. Freeze, Poison Ivy, and Bane. So yeah, those were all the villains there. And then with the Dark Knight trilogy, uh, they didn't like use like all of the villains that were used in the you previous series, but they did use like quite a few. Like in the first movie, they of course like had Scarecrow as the main villain, villain of the movie, and they also had like Ra's al Ghul, which, like I said, my Batman Begins review, I really don't consider him to be like a major villain in this movie, but yeah, they had him in there. So yeah, they did good on there. I mean, those were first time villains for Batman movies, but then like in the Dark Knight, and the Dark Knight Rises, that was when they did it. Like they had the Joker again. And they also had Two-Face in The Dark Knight. And in The Dark Knight Rises, of course, they had, like, Bane. And, yeah, Bane was really the only villain. Catwoman was in that movie, but, yeah, she wasn't really, like, a actual villain in the movie. Really not in Batman Returns either, but, yeah, you get what I'm saying. Like, she is, like, one of the, like, kind of antagonists of the Batman you kind of like, So, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so, yeah, there have been, like, more Batman villains that have been used multiple times in films, more than the Spider-Man films. So, yeah, but, yeah, when they do make this new Batman movie for the DC Extended Universe, it would be good to have Deathstroke as the villain, since it would be the first time you use him. But, yeah, there are other choices they could have, and even if, like, they do have any few other Batman films after that, correct, or even, like, if... Like, in the just any Justice League movies, if they do have, like, one of the villains be a Batman villain, I, w I would really like to see the villain that ha we haven't seen before. Like, like I would really like to see someone like Clayface as a villain in, the, in a future Batman movie. Because, yeah, I mean, yeah, Clayface is actually one that I would really be interested in seeing as a future vil villain in a Batman movie. Or they could, like, like also do people like maybe the Mad Hatter, which would be interesting. Or Doctor Strange. Yes, Doctor Strange. Not, like, in Marvel. Not that Doctor Strange. Yeah, Batman actually does have a villain named Doctor Strange, Doctor Hugo Strange. It would be interesting to see that. Now, of course, like, of course, the Joker and Harley Quinn have already been interested in like, introduced into the DC Extended Universe through Suicide Squad. So I get the feeling that maybe, like, in, if they do have a few, any future Batman films, like, they might have, like, the Joker and Harley Quinn as villains, villains in a movie, but, I mean, that would be another one I'd be okay with, because, I mean, the Joker really is, like, the main villain, or the main enemy of Batman. Like, the Joker is really, like, the most popular Batman villain, so... Yeah, I would be okay, like, if they were to use the Joker in uh, as the villain in a future Batman movie, but, yeah. But that's just because, like, Joker is the main villain. Um, but, yeah, they could use other ones, like, there's Solomon Grundy, Ventriloquist, there's Killer Croc and Killer Moth. I mean, yeah, yeah just like with the Spider-Man villains, they do have a huge selection to choose from with these villains. So, yeah, I would just really hope that... They would, like, try to go with the newer, some different villains that haven't been used before in any previous Batman films. And especially, like, with the Batman films, because I know, like I was just saying, they do, like, use some villains, like, multiple times. So, yeah, I really would like to see them kind of break away from that and try to use different villains. And, yeah, it would be good if they do get Deathstroke as the villain for the Batman but yeah, there are other selections they could choose from, and of course, like, if they do have any other Batman films, they could do that too. But yeah, that's just what I'm really hoping for with any of these future Batman and Spider-Man films. I really would just like to see some new villains be, be put in these films, rather than ones we've already seen before. Especially, like, with Spider-Man and the Green Goblin. Like I said, I do not want to see the Green Goblin as the villain, villain in any future Spider-Man films. I think they've, we've seen enough of the Green Goblin and Spider-Man films. I think it's time to really break away from that and do someone else. Alright, so yeah, that's just, so that's really what I would like to see with these films. I don't know how many pe other many other people feel this way. But yeah, it, this is just like what I re really, really would like to see with these films. So yeah, I can just, I can just hope that, that may, Marvel and DC will try to do that in the future with any future Spider-Man 
in Batman films that they do in the future. Alright, so yeah, if there's any, like, new villains that you would like to see be in these, any of these future films that they make, put them in the comments and let me know what new villains you'd like to see in any future Spider-Man and Batman films. Just let me know what you want to see. Alright, so, yeah, that's all I really have to say about this. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and, yeah, I hope, and, yeah, let me know if you feel the same way I do and what bones you'd like to see, as I said. Alright, so, yeah, that's all I really have to say about this. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.